Well hello everyone, welcome to another video and uh, in today's video we're going to be talking about different junction boxes, Wago connectors and terminal blocks a bit of wire here to play about with so let's get on with it so a Wago connector you basically strip your cable like that see this uh, thing on the back you line that up, put your finger there and then that's how much you know to strip off so you just do it like that, a bit more helps, like that. Obviously on the earth you would put some sleeve in, but I just don't have any to hand right now. And I can't be bothered getting it, so obviously you would put sleeve in. So you're going to lift your connectors up like that. You're um, doing free terminations, you use free um, Lego connectors, don't you? So what you would do is, you would put brown into there, and then you would just shut it like that, and obviously look, that's it's not going anywhere. And then same with this one, get another one, that goes into there, close the lid, that's solid, and then this one, same again, blue goes into there, close it and that's not going anywhere so that's just moving in and out because it's moved in the sleeving but oh well um yeah and then you would just basically do your termination so so live goes into here cpc which is earth goes into there and then your neutral so that's basically where go connectors and if you want you can put it into a box which is a way go box and basically what you do is you put one into there, one into there, and another one into there if you wanted. It actually takes four on each Wago connector. And then you can just push your cable down there, get that nice into there, and then basically close it like that. And then this little thing here, you can actually screw it to your joists, and then that slips back into there. So that's basically a Wago box. And that's maintenance free, basically. So yeah, that's a Wago box. The normal plastic 30 amp junction boxes. So with these, these are not very good anymore. I don't like them at all. I prefer Wago connectors now. I'm never going back to terminal blocks or these. Like that. And then you've basically got three, it's basically a terminal connector in a box, basically. And then what you would do is you would undo it. God, it's awful. And then what you would do is you would obviously strip them, but can't bother doing it. So they would go into there like that. And it's absolute horrible. Damn. And then obviously you would you would cut that to about there. And then you would just connect your other ones into it and then you would tighten it down. But the problem with these is you can actually over tighten them. Which is like that and normally they just strip and then just pop back out. And then you would just have to buy a new bully box. So they're not very good at these. And then obviously you would put this on there and screw it down. This is basically a terminal block. So you would cut these like... So you want a live neutral and earth, do that, so you've got three, and then basically just undo it, again, and then you would actually put all your connectors into there, like that, and then screw it down, but yeah, uh, they're not very good at ease, um, I prefer Wago connectors, because they're a lot better, a lot safer and uh, maintenance free with these they can actually loosen over time as well over the years and then that'll cause arcing and electrical problems so yeah